What's going on guys? It's Marco here from Marco's Tech Talk. And today I'm pretty excited because I finally got around to installing my Xeon X5680, which is a six core 12 thread CPU at 3.33 gigahertz into my Mac Pro. I know I've not showed you guys the Mac Pro just yet, but I'm waiting until I get it fully upgraded and complete before I make a detailed video of it. But this is probably the most exciting computer I've ever had in my opinion, and especially on this channel. Um, so I am really excited about getting some content out there on it. So guys, remember to subscribe to the channel if you're excited about that and looking forward to it. And without further ado, here's the video. Alrighty, so here's going to be the CPU removal replacement. Um, so I've already taken the CPU tray out. Some people take the RAM out. I'm not going to bother because it doesn't actually interfere with anything to the best of my knowledge. So um, you're going to want to use a three millimeter um, or hex key, not an Allen. This is a hex key. You want to use this. There we go. Sorry. It's kind of hard to see it on camera, but it is a hex key. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start. I'm not sure if there's actually a way you're supposed to do this as far as which side goes in first or last. I'm sorry, I mean, which ones you're supposed to screw or unscrew first or last, but I'm just gonna go ahead and work from the outside in. All right, so this one here was giving me problems. Um, this is a three millimeter. These came out with three millimeter. But this one's like a little bit rounded out, it feels like. Um, so the three millimeter didn't work, but the one eighth is working because it's slightly larger than three millimeters. So at least I was able to avoid that crisis. So now I'm waiting for the next one. Inevitably, when you work on stuff, you run into problems and it's really annoying. There we go. Man, that was annoying. All right, so going to set the heat sink and fan assembly aside. Um, mine looks pretty clean, so I'm not going to bother getting like an air compressor or anything like that. Not too worried about mine. Uh, I'm going to set this aside. Um, you could probably blow it out with some compressed air. Honestly, all this looks pretty good. Something tells me someone already did this probably right before I bought it. Um, so we're placing an X5680 um, Xeon in here. It's a six core, 12 thread. I think it's at like 3.33 gigahertz. So that's gonna be quite an upgrade from this quad core Xeon I have in here right now. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just release this little lever here, just like any other PC you guys have seen on this channel. Um, I'm just gonna pull a little lever down, lift it up, and we'll just remove this guy here. I'll set that down over there. And I'm going to place the new one in. All right, so now that the CPU is in the socket, I like to just give it a little bit of a, kind of a tiny little shake, not obviously too much, just to make sure it's good. Close the socket, make sure the little tab is underneath this hook thing. So it grabs when you do that. And then uh, that's that the little uh, thing underneath, the little latch, and the CPU is installed. I could see why taking the RAM out might be a little easier because it's kind of in the way when you're doing that. Um, but I got it done. So it's fully installed now. Now I'm just going to apply some thermal paste after I clean up the uh, surfaces, this one and the one on the heatsink. So we'll do that real quick and then we'll come back to it. All right, once you got it all cleaned up, Go ahead and apply your thermal paste of choice. I like to use Tunique TX4. I've been using this thermal paste for a couple of years now. Um, I don't know, it just seems to work pretty well for me. I did not do a before and after temperature test of this for some reason. I don't know why. I forgot all about it, but here we are now. I do the method of just putting a pea size drop in the middle, maybe a little more than a pea size drop, depending on how it comes out. But I try to do that pretty much and no more. So sometimes you gotta spin this around pretty crazy. The last thing you want is thermal paste getting everywhere else. Cause it's kind of nasty. And all right, now I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble this and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so it is reseated. 
Now I'm just going to go ahead and actually tighten all the bolts down, or the screws rather. It does have a little alignment pins on it, which definitely help in getting that on because that's difficult to line that up. Definitely difficult. This is definitely something I don't want to do again just because it's kind of tedious. And anytime you mess around with the CPU socket, especially one like this one where the pins are um, on the inside, or rather on the motherboard, I think it's called LGA. Definitely scary, and especially on a motherboard like this where you can't really just get another one like you can with a regular PC build. Not that, you know, you really want to spend the money to get a second one, but the point is you can get a second one of those. This one, very hard to do. And this job kind of has the risk involved of potentially messing this up. So there's that. Now I have bent pins in the past, not on this one thankfully, I don't think. Um, but luckily I was able to kind of bend them back in such a way that it uh, worked out for me in the end. Alright, and that's that. I'm going to go ahead and reinstall this and we should be good to go.